Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Evolution. So were you wondering what's the difference between the regular license and the extended license for plugins from Code Canyon or for teams from Team Forest? So let me talk in this video about this subject because to be honest licensing is really really confusing especially on Code Canyon and Team Forest where they have this regular license and extended license and uh, many many people are not sh really sure what they mean and what they are good for and if they need the regular license or the extended license for the product that they wish to purchase so let me give you details about what you will need you will need the regular or the extended license for the plugin or team that you will purchase. So the main differences are if you check the Code Canyon's official documentation here that the product in which you will be using the team or plugin that can be sold only with the extended license. So in case of a WordPress plugin this means that you can include it in your own team. For example, if you are a developer, a team developer, and you are creating your own WordPress team, if you want to include a plugin from Enveto Marketplace in your team that will be redistributed together with your team, then you need to purchase an extended license for that plugin and afterwards you can include it in your team. Also, if you want to create a software as a service product, a SaaS, uh, for example, website that will allow your clients to log in uh, to the site with a subscription for which they pay. And on that website, you can, uh, for example, submit posts to Facebook easily and uh, to other social networks for example and you wish to use on that platform WordPress plugins then you need also to get an extended license for the plugins that you are using so if you charge the customers money for in the uh, to get access or to buy the product that you are creating using the products that you uh, purchase from Enveto or Team Forest, then you are needing for sure an extended license for this. So keep in mind if you sell something or if you earn money with something that you created using something that you bought from Team Forest or Code Canyon, then you must for sure get an extended license for those products that you purchase. Otherwise, you probably are good to go with a regular license and keep in mind that the number of sites or products that you can use this uh, license on is always one. So you need to get a different license for each project that you start. I know that this is a bit uh, annoying because people with many, many sites can uh, be a bit discouraged by this and uh, I am currently in progress with uh, Code Canyon and Team Forest support, talking to them and making my suggestions on how this licensing can be changed. I am strongly suggesting adding also multi-project uh, and multi-site licenses, which would greatly benefit Code Canyon and Team Forest. And it would be a really great thing to see also for us developers who sell our products on Code Canyon or Team Forest, and also for customers who purchase things here and who would purchase an, a multi site and multi domain license and multi project license for less, for example, because in many cases, spending a lot of money. Uh, might not be affordable if you have many small projects and if you would need to purchase multiple licenses for each. Okay, so now back to our differences. So this is the main difference be between the extended and the regular license for plugins and themes from Enveto marketplaces. 
Also, I will link in this video description the full description of the differences. So this is the official documentation of the licenses. You can go ahead and read it. It will be really helpful. So keep in mind, you are not allowed to resell the products directly. So this is very important that I forgot to say until now, you are not allowed in any way to resell the plugins or themes that you are purchasing directly. So you can build your own stuff and include them in it and resell the new stuff you created. But if, if you just purchase a plugin from uh, Team for, uh, from Code Canyon with extended license even and uh, you wish to resell it to other customers as it is as a WordPress plugin you are not allowed to do this in any way because it is against the license so yeah but keep in mind you are allowed to create your own stuff your own plugins this will be okay so here is also the licensing FAQ I will link it in this video's description. Go ahead and check it, guys. More licensing info here on this link also, which will uh, uh, give you more info on this. Also, uh, this Enveto Market Help. Do I need a regular license or an extended license, which was updated recently, is also helpful. This will be also linked in this video's description. Go ahead, guys, and check it this should also uh, be hard for so here are multiple scenarios you use a plugin in a website that anyone can access but which makes money with advertising so if you have only ads on your website you are good to go with a regular license you use a plugin in a free section of a website but also in a section of the website which is only available for paying customers so keep in mind if you have a membership section and you have plugins which are available only to the members of your website which pay, you need an extended license for that plugin. You use a 3D model of a sword for a game and the game will be sold extended. So keep in mind, you use something that you purchased in something that you build which will be sold for money then you need extended license. You use a graphic in an advertisement that will be broadcast on free TV regular. So yeah, these are some use cases. You use a video template TV show that will be broadcasted on free TV. So broadcast seems to be a special case, but I am not covering this in this video. I am covering WordPress plugins and themes. So yeah, these are uh, special cases that are valid for video templates and I don't know about video templates at the moment. Okay, so yeah, this will also be linked in this video description. Go ahead guys and check it. And also I responded to this core question uh, some time ago. So I responded here also explaining things. So it essentially allows an end user to create and resell, to sell their product with something that they bought included in it. So this is the extended license and it does not at all means allow the distribution of the purchased items in the form that you purchased it. You can include it in the, uh, in other products that you build but you cannot redistribute the plugins that you or teams that you purchase okay so i hope i cleared things up and you know what license type you need so if you need the regular license here you are and if you need the re extended license just simply click on the license type here on code canyon and select extended license and you can buy the extended license now you will see that it is also more expensive because you will be able to create your own product which you will be able to sell using the plugin or team that you purchased from here so i hope this info helped if you want to get more similar info subscribe to this channel it is really appreciated Thank you for watching until then. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.